Good morning. This is Dr. John Lamberton. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about droppings. Uh, these are droppings for the one widowhood cock that, uh, that were flying. And uh, he stepped on them just a little bit this morning. But you can see that the droppings are, are, are dark brown. Uh, a little bit of the color is from the red cell. Uh, and the iron and ingredients in the red cell that make the droppings a little darker. But you can see the droppings are nice and concise. They hold together well. They're a good dark color. The white on top of the droppings is the urine. But essentially this cock rested fairly well last night because the droppings are all in one area. Uh, so as the cock, uh, as the male rested in this area of the box, uh, the droppings form a pattern which shows me that the male rested fairly well last night. Uh, we have a second nest box that belongs to the grizzle hen that I'm um, racing on the team. Again, here are her a group of droppings. As you can see, they're little round balls. They hold together. They have tremendous consistency. There's not a lot of loose droppings or water. So it shows that uh, the bird's in, in pretty good health and pretty good form. If you'll notice on top of the droppings, you see a little bit of down. This is a sign of form, and this is part of what you want to see on the droppings, is you want to see some down, and then uh, the camera may not show it, but on top of the droppings, you can see a little dusting of pigeon dust. But again, you want to see a clustered group of droppings you want to, them to have excellent consistency and be shaped in balls. You want to see some white down, and you want to see a little bit of pigeon dust. Here's a, a third nest box that belongs to a cumin hen, uh, 176, that we're racing. And notice this side of the box doesn't look like the other boxes, the other two boxes we've looked at. There's very few droppings. And the reason is is if you'll see, the hen spends most of her time in the bowl. And so the bowl is full of droppings. So when I clean this nest box, not only do I have to clean the nest box, but because the hen puts her droppings in the bowl, I also have to clean the bowl every day. But this hen likes to spend most of her time in the bowl. Here we have a fourth nest box belonging to 169 that was second club in the 130 mile race last week. And you can see her droppings, uh, they're a little bit stepped on, so they're not quite as round as, as they were before she stepped on them. But again, they're clustered, uh, they have consistency, they're compact. Uh, she spent a little bit more time uh, putting her droppings all over the uh, nest box floor, so she rested differently than the other birds we've looked at. She's also cast a flight, and one of her flights, and, uh, but each nest box tells a story. And the story is, you know, concerns the inside of the bird and the outside of the bird. The droppings tell a story of what the inside of the bird looks like, and where the droppings are placed, and, and how much food is eaten, and feathers in the box, all this tell you about the bird's external nature, how it's resting, how it's molting, how it's eating. So I would uh, recommend that once or twice a day you inventory each nest box for each racer and try to learn the story uh, of that racer for the hours before you clean the nest box. I'll now clean all these nest boxes and again, look at it this evening and see what story I can determine on each racer in their box this evening. Back to the grizzle hen nest box. One thing I didn't put, point out is that the grizzle hen didn't eat her peas. So she's concentrating on the safflower and the small grains, but she left the peas, uh, which is something interesting about uh, her diet. I'm going to clean the nest box now and prepare it the evening feeding. There, the next box is clean. Now, uh, during the evening feeding, I'll re-examine the nest, nest box and determine how the bird rested and how what condition the bird's in 
at the evening feeding. Then I'll clean the box again and get it ready for the morning feeding.